So you're considering a move to Walnut Creek and you're wondering if you can afford it? Well, in today's video, we're going over the cost of living in Walnut Creek, California and what it looks like to live here. So stay tuned. What's up guys, Rachel Capel with Keller Williams in the East Bay, your favorite Bay Area realtor. If you wanna know all things about the Bay Area, this is the channel for you. Click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure that you are getting that YouTube algorithm going and keep those questions coming because we love them. We love helping all those people relocating and moving to the Bay. All right, let's get into this video. Can you afford Wanna Creek, California? And what are the costs of living here? Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of a map of Wanna Creek to kind of give you an idea of where Wanna Creek is situated in the Bay Area. So obviously you can see San Francisco is right here and Wanna Creek is gonna be located in the East Bay in between Concord, Pleasant Hill, Danville, and San Ramon. So if you're flying into San Francisco, you're gonna kind of take, go over the bridge and you're gonna head into the East Bay and this is where Wanna Creek will be. And Wanna Creek is actually a really large town. It's kind of subdivided into a couple different sections, but I won't go too much into that. But again, it neighbors Alamo and La Miranda. So Lafayette, Moraga and Arenda is all over here. So I actually really like Wanna Creek because it's a central city that has a lot and a great downtown that's big and some great shopping. So this is Wanna Creek. Okay, now let's go over to niche.com. I've mentioned this before. I love this website because it kind of gives a grade of the city overall. And you can see here, Wanna Creek has an A, A for public schools, good for families, nightlife, and diversity is pretty good. Not you know, A minus, but I think obviously you're pretty close to San Francisco and Oakland and Rock Ridge and Berkeley that all has some pretty good nightlife, actually really great life, nightlife. So it's not too far. Housing is a C and crime and safety is a C. And I could obviously speak to that because it is not perfect here in California. California, nobody's really safe. I mean, you just, whenever you have a major city, you have to be careful because there's just gonna be more people and they look for more things. So here we go, Wanna Creek, the population is 69,000 and the real estate, the median home value. Now, again, this number is a little bit skewed because it's got most likely condos and townhouses mixed in there. Wanna Creek single family residence home is about, I would say on average, <laughs> I would say probably 1.5 now, depending on if you want a brand new beautiful home, you're looking at 1.5, three bedroom, two bath, depending on the neighborhood and the school district. But you can get a townhouse for anywhere from like seven to like 900 and just under a million. So if you wanted a townhouse, I've seen newer townhouses that are totally updated for like 950, just under a million. So it is a range and that's why it's always great to talk to a professional like us. You've got stats here, renting versus own, a majority of them own. And but a lot of people do rent because Walnut Creek is a good city that has close proximity to BART, which allows you to hop on and get into San Francisco or Oakland or Berkeley pretty easily. Now we've gone over this little map here before and you can see if you're taking BART, BART is located down here and you just hop on and it'll take you right into the city down here. So, or Oakland or wherever you're working Berkeley, Oakland. This is like a bit of a commute, probably 30 minutes commute. But going into the city, it could be like an hour. Let's see here, what else does this say? So crime and safety looks like a C plus. Definitely a lot of burglary theft, no murders, thankfully. You know, it's just things you have to be aware of. Diversity is an A minus. You aren't gonna get too much diversity here. Uh, you're gonna get way more diversity as you go closer into the city. It looks like education-wise, pretty good. Bachelor's degree, 36%. And, you know, average 10 years above, you know, it's like, I think it's a younger town for sure. Working in Walnut Creek is pretty good. We have some good places. John Muir is a big, yeah, as you see here, John Muir is a good medical center, Kaiser, Mercedes-Benz. There's some pretty good businesses out here that employ and in Concord as well. So median household income is gonna be 105,000. Oftentimes we will work in Walnut Creek or Berkeley or Emeryville, Oakland, San Francisco. So there are all lots of potential for getting a job in the area. Obviously schools are excellent here. You know, they're all really good. I would say I wouldn't have any problem sending my kiddo to any of these high schools. Now, as you get over to Ignacio area, you definitely have to kind of look at the high schools and the elementaries there. But for the most part, Warner Creek is really good. And yeah, so let's read this little thing. I've only lived in Wanna Creek for a short time after moving from Texas and so far I'm impressed. 
very peaceful. Cost of living is surprisingly affordable. Nice area of California, which is true. I feel like this area compared to Silicon Valley in San Francisco is definitely on sale. So yeah, safe, cute, nice town. So I definitely agree with niche.com. If you want to dig further into that, you definitely can, but it's got an overall grade of an A. Okay, now let's go on to the specifics of the cost of living in Walnut Creek. I've used this website before, Numbio. It's a great kind of barometer to show you exactly how much you can estimate things will cost in this area. So you can see here, it's so funny, Mountain View is not 9.53 miles away, but Berkeley, unless I'm thinking of another Mountain View. These are all pretty close cities by, and again, San Francisco is going to be way more expensive, but I think this is a good barometer for an average meal here in, in Walnut Creek. You know, when you get a sandwich, it's going to be anywhere from $13 to $15, mid-range restaurant, three course. I would say this would, on the lower end, I think you could definitely, and again, the ranges are here. I think that it would probably be around 100 plus. McDonald's, yeah, seven to $12, definitely on the higher end, because Walnut Creek is a more expensive town. Domestic Domestic beer, five, yeah, I'd say like five to seven, you know, cappuccino, probably about right, maybe $5, you know, five, six. So this is a pretty good barometer of how much you're going to end up spending. And then for sports and fitness clubs, I would definitely say probably be 45 to 100, which is the range here. Preschool definitely is probably at least 1500 to like the higher end of preschools and whatnot that I've seen are about, yeah, 1700, 16, 17. So you'll end up spending that much rent for one bedroom. Bedroom. This is about right, 2,600 to 3,000, depending on the location and how new it is. So it's a great kind of average, I would say average after tax. You know what I would say? You could live off that, sure, but I'd probably want to aim for 10,000 a month, <laughs> 120K a year and above if you want to live in the city. Okay, so this is BART, which is the Bay Area Rapid Transportation, which is the public transportation service that you can use to head into the city or Oakland in the East Bay. Walnut Creek is going to be right here. And if you are working and living in Walnut Creek, you would just obviously, you don't have to take BART if you're working and living here. But if you're working in San Francisco or Oakland or even Berkeley, you could easily hop on BART downtown Walnut Creek and just go either to anywhere in Berkeley or anywhere in Oakland and San Francisco. So it actually is really affordable and it looks like there is some type of special. I'm not an expert on BART fairs, but it looks like there's some type of special going on right now for the month of September. And you can easily use this website. So you can see here, let's try going to Wanna Creek. Where's Wanna Creek? This is the schedule, hold on trip planner. You can enter a starting point here, Wanna Creek. Bart Station, and then you can say, let's just say Embarcadero. Embarcadero is usually where people head into the downtown of San Francisco. And I think these range, so you can kind of see the schedule there. And the fares, I believe they range, and right now it's a 50% off if you have the Clipper card, but I think you can basically do a trip. It's like about $8, I thought, round trip. Let's see, too. Embarcadero. Let's just see. Yeah, see, it's one from one way. So I think that's double if you don't have it, but you can do the clipper and they have all these types of different deals that you can do. So I definitely would research this if you're going to be wanting to commute into the city or into Oakland or whatnot. And it's just Bart.com and you can see, I think on average, it's about $8. It m might be more if you're going into San Francisco for a flight or something. And you have to make sure you know when to go and you know what time they operate from. And again, I always like to side note because the Bay Area is a beautiful area, but it also has a lot of crime. So BART is not known to be the most safest public transportation means of public transportation. So just always be cautious and safe when you're on it. And definitely check out BART.gov for more info. All right, now let's get on to Walnut Creek's cost of living in comparison to the rest of the country. Basically, overall, it is 195. California is 149, so it's definitely above average for California. And it's 95 points above all of the United States. So it's definitely more expensive. Um, it's a little bit more expensive for groceries. Healthcare is not too bad. Where it stands out, obviously, as we know in California, Walnut Creek is going to be one of the most expensive places. It's obviously 377 compared to the United States is 100 and California is 239. So the median home, again, this is somewhat skewed because it, it probably includes condos and townhouses. But if you're looking at a single family residence, 
three to four bedrooms, you're looking anywhere from 1.2, easily 1.5 if it's brand new. And it's going to be move-in ready. It's going to be probably closer to 1.5. So that is for sure higher than the national average of 291 for the United States. So funny thing about Walnut Creek, fun fact, I think honestly, it is the one of the most affordable, nice cities in the Bay Area compared to San Francisco, Albany, Berkeley, Oakland, Silicon Valley, like all of those areas are going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars more than Wanna Creek and Wanna Creek schools are A plus. So it essentially it is on sale over here in Wanna Creek. So if you're looking to live in California, just know that all of those towns that I mentioned are gonna be at least two hundred thousand dollars plus or a million dollars more than what it would cost in Wanna Creek. So utilities is pretty much on par here. A lot of people have solar just because pg e and all the fires and electric is so expensive. You know, people are getting a lot of solars, but it's pretty comparable to the United States on average. Transportation is a little bit higher just because gas is probably higher and everything else is a little bit higher. So overall, it's not too bad though, Walnut Creek in comparison. So you can kind of see here, I would do a little bit more of an in-depth search, but I think this is pretty accurate. I think that one bedroom would be 2000. I think my sister rents for 2000 and about 2000. So depending on how nice the apartment is, it could get something as low as 1800, but it would, could go as high as two to 2,500. I think two bedrooms, yeah, can go up as high as like 3,000 and single family residences, whatnot, three bedrooms, easily $4,000 if you're in a nice neighbor area with a nice newly renovated house and school, I would say 4,000 is a normal number for rent. Um, and you can see here the little cost of living map. You can see what is the most expensive. And again, like what I said, San Francisco is going to be super high Diablo, Alma, Moraga, all of those places are in there because they're close to the city and they have beautiful homes and tree-lined areas that are very, very, very beautiful. They're going to be more expensive. Wanna Creek is, again, like what I said, a little bit more affordable. There are certain parts of Oakland that are affordable, but I can guarantee you that the housing in Oakland will be more expensive than Wanna Creek, as well as Emeryville. So just stuff to think about, as well as San Leandro and Hayward. You will not be able to get a really nice house for less than a nice house in Wanna Creek. So, something to note. All right, so now let's go on to walkscore.com. Love this website because it kind of shows you the walkability of each city. I don't know if I agree 100% so much with this walk score. Just gonna say, I guess, I mean, if you live downtown, it's a very walkable city. I think that it's actually would be like 100 percent walk score because maybe they're just talking about if you live around the city it's kind of hard if you're not downtown it's really not walkable but they do have a great bike score because we have the iron horse trail so you can hop on your bike and you can you know ride your bike to bart station the bart station is like right around here but like downtown this area if you're around here you could totally walk to all the cool shops and stuff like that so it doesn't have a great walk score but i think it's a little bit skewed because if you were downtown you, you could do really easily walking down here and bart is actually right down over here so it's not too far so i love this website check it out boxscore.com all right there you have it the 411 on walnut creek california hopefully you can afford it if not reach out there are places that you can go otherwise and until the next time guys have a great week and thanks for watching our videos make sure to subscribe click the like button do all the things and we'll see you in the next one bye